Hey guys, what's going on? I thought we'd do another Craigslist video, but then this time I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Instead of doing one of these just comical videos, I thought we would do something a little bit more uh, educational and helpful. And this time around, you know, you guys always notice that I've got a couple of Mopars around here I've got a couple A bodies a C body and stuff like that and then a M body and so I like my Mopars and I like the A bodies in particular they're just a nice easy car to work on and cheap to pretty cheap to find in most cases and I just like them you know and I've, I've had four doors primarily because four doors are more affordable and so that's what I usually pick up so I've got right now I've got a 68 and I've got a 73 so I thought we would do this video about looking for these cars on Craigslist and what would you get for not a whole lot of money and what to look out for as far as problems and things like that and equipment what kind of equipment you expect to find so let's do that let's look through this and we'll uh, kind of check out what's floating around here on Craigslist. So I've saved some out here to make it quicker to, to look at. First one I found here, this is a 71 Plymouth Valiant. This is a four-door just like the one that I have, the two I have now. I had one of these, it was a white one at one point, which I did a lot of work to. But this is just a normal six-cylinder, and uh, it's a lot like the green one that I have but it's a little bit more fancy. It has, we get the largest picture here. Uh, the color is not great on this, we have a gold color, but it does have the wheel arch moldings. It's got the rocker molding. Uh, it's got the bright trim around the windows. My, neither of my cars have any of that. Uh, if we go to another picture, uh, it's pretty basic up front. It does not have the light package because if it did, it would have these little repeaters on the, the fender top turn signal repeaters. It does not have that. It's got rust in the quarter, but that's not that bad. That's, these cars tend to rust a lot you know, in, in certain places. The lower quarters get crap in them. The trunks rust because the window seals leak. The floors uh, rust because the front window seals leak. So the worst thing I see on this car, it looks like uh, it's got some rust starting around the window up here in this seam. And that's a little unusual. This car doesn't have a vinyl top. Normally, they don't rust that bad when they don't have a vinyl top. They'll rust around the window seals here. But uh, this one's got it kind of up towards the front here, which is a little rough. So this quarter may have been repaired at one point. But normally, if these things have a vinyl top, the, the tops have a seam in them right here where they were uh, brazed together at the factory. The seam was kind of filled, and there's body filler over it, and they always rust right there. This one's got, looks like it's got a little bit of starting right there. So something to look out for, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's got the dr bright trim uh, something's up with this car something's not right about the back of it oh I see what it is this, this thing is either not a 71 or it's had the rear end changed on I bet that's what it is I bet this car has been wrecked before because it's got if you look here first thing I notice is it doesn't have any reverse lights in the bumper supposed to have those if it's a 70 up it's supposed to have them in the bumper and they changed that but somebody has put 69 taillights in it you can just barely see them there I wonder if another picture show that better nope let's go back to where we were but somebody has somebody has changed those around see the reverse lights right there in the taillights I didn't catch that first time around but somebody has definitely fool with it. So this car is probably was rear-ended years ago when they fixed it and just used what they had, I guess. He's got some wheels to sell with it, but uh, we're not interested in those. Trunk looks okay. This has got this, uh, this is your filler pipe for the gas tank, and it's 71 only, and maybe some California 70. 70 California cars have this stand pipe, which has got vent tubes in them right here. 
But these trunks always tend to rust right along into where the wheel housing is right back here. And this one looks pretty good, what I can see of it. My 68's rested there. The 73's got its own rust problems, which are not related to that. This one still has the jack in it. Yeah, he's got some 14 inch Krager wheels. Here's the engine compartment in this car, and it looks pretty basic and pretty standard. Looks like it's got a more recent radiator. These radiators are kind of getting expensive to, to find these days, but the radiators were different sizes based on what options the car had in it. And this looks like a 19 inch radiator, which I don't think is correct for this car because this is actually an air conditioning car. You can see up here, it had the uh, fittings for the lines back here. They've been capped off and all the stuff's gone off of it because it's got the, well, <clears throat> You can kind of tell just by looking the the heater boxes and the firewall and everything's different between the two versions. So somebody's taking all the air conditioning stuff off of one of these, but it's still got the I see it's still got the vacuum lines coming out for the for the uh, heater control valve right there. So that's all changed. And so it looks like it's had a, another radiator put on it, which is too small. And just your basic slant six uh, is supposed to have a two port breather on it, which it looks like this one's missing. It does not have anymore. And uh, it's got a three speed wiper motor. The three speed wiper motor, the housing points to the left. The two speed points kind of straight out right there. So you know what you're looking at. If you're looking at one of those, it does not have power brakes. Uh, it's missing the washer reservoir, but it's got some kind of aftermarket washer as for right there I don't know uh, the firewall looks pretty good on it's not doesn't look like it's got too rust too much rust or anything on it it's nice and solid where my green one is not my green one is rusted right through here on each side uh, but you know it's got some it's got some nice options on it but it's too bad the air air stuff is missing off of it it's got a nice dashboard on it this cluster looks good but you see how it's got the chrome wash knob on it right there with it says wash on it well that's because it's got it's supposed to have electric washers if it had just a plain chrome knob it would have the foot operated washer which my two cars have but the inside looks decent on it it's got this color scheme which I like the gold on the dashboard right there but the seat upholstery and door frames are just kind of a cream gold and it's just not very appealing. I see one of the hubcaps is laying in there. These use those watermelon hubcaps. Look like a just like the one that was on that dual car. They were 71 only. 70 used a version and then 72 and 3 and on up uses the same version. 71 uses a specific version. Looking at this dash I see the glove box door is laying in the floor right there. The glove box is missing because it's a cardboard glove box. It's not there. Somebody has unfortunately cut the dash from one of these stupid DIN radios. That's too bad. The ashtray is missing. Um, it's got manual steering because this is the manual steering wheel on it. They were different. And it's got uh, push button controls for the heat and air so it had air conditioning. does not anymore dash pad is fair it's still not that good looks like the original cluster uh, so <clears throat> it's got the 70 and the 71 uh, the 71 and 2 seat upholstery which has these inserts in it but it's pretty faded and so have to have some upholstery done it looks all right there again like I said it's not really a very good color so that car, if you could get it a lot cheaper than what he's asking for, at twelve hundred fifty dollars, then you know it might be nice and fix up. Looks like it's fairly solid. <clears throat> uh, you, microphonic fool. Here's a '66 Valiant, fourteen hundred dollars in St. Louis. But this car has been hit on the side. It's taking pretty good hit right here. It's got a little hit in the back. 
see it's pretty white pretty hard right there now being in st louis this is a midwest car he says it's pretty solid i don't think so look how the whole quarter is going out of it right here so i mean this thing's got dents all over it so you get kind of lured into thinking, well, that'd be an easy repair, but I guarantee this thing's got more rust in it than you think. It's a V8. It's got a 26-inch radiator, which did not come in that car because you see how the core support, you see how there's more radiator right here than there is core support opening. This car would have had a 22-inch radiator in it, so that's why it's hanging over. It'll fit, but you're missing, you know, some cooling accessibility. It's wrinkled right here in the inner structure that would have to be pulled it's got a wrinkle back here so it's pretty it's white pretty good so I think I would probably pass on this one unless you just want to do the work on it V8 of unknown origin interiors eh, it's alright but again it's ought to work I personally am not partial to this generation of these cars but if you like them you know they do they look nice but it's again it's this one's pretty rough uh we got a 73 now this car pains me to look at because this is a it says it's a 73 plymouth valiant hit hard and rear passenger door has all glass good engine and transmission can hear run and put in gear have all four head caps lots of good parts working on darts dusters or on any a body around the same year selling hold don't have time to take apart needs to go this car looks like it was restored and it got hit bad right here in the back door and it's a pretty well optioned car too it's got all the chrome trim on it does not have rocker trim that I can tell but the front looks good it's got the it's got the uh, light package on it see the light package gave you turn signal repeaters an ashtray light uh, ignition switch light club box light uh, trunk light all came in that package so if you see the if you see the fender tops the fender tops could be ordered by themselves but people rarely did that they usually got the package because they discounted the package to get you to buy that it's got a pretty good looking engine bay the only thing I don't like about it is some person who was not a Mopar person blacked out the engine compartment Mopars never had the engine compartment blacked out ever unless it was a black car so that's ugly and that would have to go uh, it's got air conditioning whoops it's got air conditioning it's got three-speed wiper motor electronic condition like it's supposed to have no power brakes and have a booster if it did uh, got a pretty nice interior I'm sorry to skip over that but pretty decent this is an up, up level interior it's got wood trim on the dash it's got air conditioning it's got the vent still there it's got some random gauge put down there for something. Uh, you can tell it's got power steering because this is the power steering wheel design instead of the ones that's got the round deal in the center. So it's got power steering. Who knows what kind of brakes it has on it. It could have disc brakes, but my guess is it's going to have probably 10-inch power uh, non-power drum brakes. So vinyl top. I don't like vinyl tops. Upholstery, that's the original upholstery it looks like. It's got a dent in the door, they got thrown into something, I guess. So, this car, you know, it would be nice if you wanted to do the work on it, but there again, you know, it's kind of a lousy color scheme. Green top and a tan body. But that's why it's $800, and it looks like it's got a salvage title. Here's a 76 Plymouth Valiant, which would be a good parts car. Because it's real rusty it's from Jacksonville Florida and I don't know why it's so rusty I guess because they all rust down there from the salt in the air that's just like that brown dart I had that thing rusted from the top down so the bottom of this car is probably nice but the top of it is probably junk it's probably rusted around all the windows you can see how the tops rusted and it's got rust in the bottom of the door there the paints kind of bit Here's the engine. They only have two pictures on it, and the engine bay looks complete. It's got air conditioning. It's got power brakes, so it may have disc brakes on it. It's got three-speed wipers. It's got a nice hole 
rotted in the cow. So this will be, again, this will be a good parts car for the air conditioning and for the power steering if it has it, and stuff like that. I think that's all of them so anyway the th I guess we'll just kind of I didn't I saw one other one that was a green 73 scamp and it was a real 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 rough it was just rotted out so bad in the trunk the spring was coming up through the trunk floor so basically this is what you get for a cheap Mopar you know without spending a whole lot of money and uh, let's give you a little overview of what options you get now one thing to remember that they changed up they these a bodies the K-frame up front changed in for model year 73 they went to the spool type which has got the the motor mounts which cannot break all the way apart but they do interchange and the rear ends that you get in these cars are most often going to be seven and a quarter inch rear ends uh, the whole time up through 76 and then some of them may have an eight and a quarter inch rear end if it has a v8 in it after 1973 or 4 uh, 74 I had had eight and a quarter inch in it. Uh, now the early cars, the 67s up through 73s or so, either had a seven and a quarter or an eight and three quarter, and I've never seen one of these four doors with the eight and three quarters in them ever. So when you buy one like this, it's been sitting. Uh, you know, you're going to have to, like these people always say, the gas tank's probably rusted up. I've seen that many times. I can't tell you how many gas tanks I've had to replace in these, but they're still making them. They're pretty cheap. So assume you're going to have to do the fuel system in them. You're going to have to go through the brakes. Assume that you're going to have floors that are sort of rotted out. Assume that you're going to have some trunk floors that are starting to go in a few places. The main things on these is, like I've told people that I've communicated with on YouTube about buying one of these, I said, Main thing, if you're up north, you need to look at like where the suspension mounts, like the A-arms mount, and you need to look where the torsion bars mount back here at the cross member. You need to look at that real strong and look where the springs mount back here because when those areas start to rust, that's structural and that renders it undrivable. So, you know, rocker panels rust, and my, my green car's got numerous issues like that. It's got quarters that are soft. It's got rocker panels that are soft but it's good where the suspension mounts and it is fair back here to spring mounts one of them's getting pretty bad so you know it's basically going to be when you you know I'm not saying everybody wants to buy a four door uh, same problems apply to the two door so if you're looking for a duster or a dark sport or a demon or something like that so keep the same things in mind if you're gonna if you're gonna be okay with rust you need to just be sure you know where you want to be dealing with rust at not in the suspension Floors are okay, trunks okay, rockers, eh, but you know, the thing about the vinyl tops on these, you gotta be really careful about is that uh, the tops on these tend to start passing water through and they were not primed very well under it. So when it starts passing water through and you start seeing bubbles, when you see one of these that has a vinyl top on it, which that one does not, but if you see one with a vinyl top and it starts it's bubbly underneath, especially up here, it's real bad, you can assume that it's going to need a top skin put on it, and there ain't nobody going to put a top skin on a four-door. So that's why that I don't like to buy any of them with a vinyl top on them. I will if it looks good, but if it's got bubbles under it, I run away from it because nine times out of ten it's got holes in the metal top, and that's a, that's a bad thing to get into. If it's a two-door that's got a lot of options on it, V8, disc brakes, and the rest of the car is pretty straight and rust-free, then I would consider putting a top on it. But otherwise, you need to be carefully considered about that, whether you want to do that. But anyway, hope this has kind of helped you guys learn about these cars and what to look for when you buy one. And uh, just, you know, you can still find them out here pretty cheap, but just assume that any of them at this time in at this point in time are going to need some kind of work just try to find a good solid undercarriage and a good solid engine transmission and rear end and go from there and have fun so if you have any questions please feel free to ask them and so from here on let's keep these mopars rolling thanks guys see you later